Welcome to J2 of Tiny Magic. It's time to dance. Welcome, everybody. We're starting with the ovaries and the testes. So music for you. your testicles, play with your ovaries to warm up or just warm up. I didn't press record, did I? Getting close to time. Are we at time? We're at time. Welcome, everybody. A little music. Take some space. I'm going to put on different different music 
And what I actually before I put it on, I want you to know that the ovaries can roll in the body and the testes can roll in their sacs. And for some men, you want to not pull up your testes, but remember that they started in the groin before they descended. So there's some kind of magic hormonal energy here in your body. So for some men, you want to not pull up your testes. Oh no, I'm hearing an echo. Yeah, there's a feedback. Let me undo that. There we go. My Facebook was on. So find your rolling <clears throat> ovaries. And I'm going to put on one more groovy song. In a minute. Get ready for this one, okay? Very white. This is what we're not, we're, we haven't been doing. We haven't been playing with our pheromones, our estrogen, our testosterone. So, start evoking it. Find, find it in your ovaries, in your testes. I'm gonna say something else. Hormones are inside the body, communicating. Pheromones we send outside the body. So around sexuality, I want you to just let your smells, let your hormones that, that, that send signals out to the world, let those out, even if no one's there. Spread your pheromonal presence because that, that is part of the hormonal cycle that you pick up from the outside that creates this gorgeous orgasmic hormonal synchronicity and, and pleasure. So, you can invoke it inside. You can let yourself feel it from the trees, the cars, the room, your lover, anything. Put yourself back in that circulation for a moment. Flirt, beckon or just bring it up for your own pleasure, your internal sense, your internal sense of sexual well-being, testosterone for strength and clarity and estrogen to so just build, build tissues. While you're dancing, I'll just take the music down a little. While you're dancing, I just want to say that these tissues 
that eventually produce estrogen and the and the cells that they protected the reproductive cells that either go into the egg into the testes or the ovaries they were protected for a long time in the body and kept from replicating like all the others so they have a treasure they were held like a treasure in the nook of the yoke when we had a yoke first first few weeks of life they they were a little package so give it that give it that treasure they're a treasure we can be with put that treasure into your ovaries your testes <sighs> Now start drawing it in, drawing it into your body. Start draw it in. Start to draw your own energy in, maybe even some from your environment. Right. So let's um so this is very different from yesterday where we were. Hi everybody, I can see that's so nice. I can see rock, I can see people. Woo! Um and all of you watching at home now or later, thanks for, um, yeah, thanks for talking to us and engaging with this material and with yourself. Give it to yourself. I know it's 20 minutes, so I'm going to ask you to, to suspend your questions for a moment. I'm going to give you clear, clear instruction how to be with your body so that later all the questions you can scribble them down maybe but later you can go and follow your curiosity what's testosterone whoa when did the testicles descend uh, um, and they descend after after a boy was born so throughout the years so let's just place that new energy of the testicles and the ovaries. Just keep moving if you'd like, that's so pleasurable. Or just sit with it. Sit with this energy that's higher than your coccyx coccygeal bodies. Yeah, and um, yesterday we talked about the sacrum being free to allow the tail of the coccyx to move free. And today we're gonna have the ovaries. We have two of them. We have two testes and two ovaries. So what, what you have here is the opportunity to roll them and bend and bend so you can roll and I want you to just for a moment separate them so that you have two, two pelvic halves, two, two legs, two testes in their original spot and in their now spot and just with we've loaded them we've loaded the this energy so you can just for a moment free up the hip joint and see how the counter rotation or the rotation with this 
This gorgeous hormonal energy support underneath helps you. Wow, now it feels really hard to go to the next one already. I'd like to stay here, but we're gonna move. We're gonna move up to the pancreas. And I do hope you take this as an opportunity to um, to explore at another time with yourself. The pancreas, the pancreas, the pancreas is about smack in the middle of your body. So it lays on an angle and it is not just, it's big, so it's big. And only the longer haunts, these islands, these islands, they call them islands, what I think is lovely. There's a spray of islands in the pancreas that creates hormones that affect how we digest sweet, how we digest carbohydrates, how we keep our, our, our balance of taking in energy and putting out energy because sugar makes energy available for us. So I don't know, it's kind of like to be moving with you guys. So I'm gonna put a little music on and put your hand in the middle, middle of your body. And if any of you know the starfish, so you have a line going through the center from arm to foot, other arm to foot, head to tail, and in all directions. And right in the middle, you can use your vibration, you can use your sense of hormones that you know from the testes today. And you can just bring that energy to your center, that's it. But just, this is the simplest, the simplest, I am here, I am in space, I am here, pancreas, I am here, I am sweet. For me, personally, I feel it the most when my children were little and they'd come home and they were like, hi, I'm home. And they were like, I, I exist. People want me. People are happy to see me. So this sense of hi, I'm here. Hi, you can say it in your room. Hi, I'm home. So yeah, there we go. And now you might feel the sadness behind it and just stay or, or just the joy of it. And you can just sit and hold the front and the back of your middle. You can move. Just spend a minute there. You are here, you exist in the simplest way possible. The world recognizes you. You sit in the middle of family. Your family made family our family here today. Just bow to yourself from this place for a moment. <sighs> While we just feel how different those hormones are, how different it is to go from your sexual center 
power creation to the pancreas. On the Facebook page, I, I'm starting to put up some images that you can look at later on how the chakras relate to the glands I'm speaking about. And there's a lot, a lot of choice. And the pancreas is often um, pulled up to be part of the solar plexus or down to be part of the creative center. We're going by gland, which I find incredibly illuminating. All right, last gland of today. One of my favorite things is are how the kidneys develop and how they eventually end up with a little red adrenal hat today. So the kidneys embryologically go through a lot of different, they, there are different systems in embryology, but eventually there's a lovely little kidney and it starts growing like these broccoli little antlers on, on it. And these make a long journey up to where they are now in our body. So if you put your hands on your bladder while I talk, put your hands on your bladder and then you're gonna have these broccoli broccolets travel up to where your kidneys are now. And the adrenals, like little hats, have been hanging there, nicely connected to blood, ready with their hormones to help grow and bring things into more activity and outward attention. And they're waiting here until the kidneys, and just take one side now, take the left side and have that kidney, if you hold one hand up like this, like a hat on, on your left side. And that's the adrenal. And your kidney travels all the way up here and eventually it docks kind of like a spaceship. And then I want you to drop it a little bit because there's space. They're not the same organ. And these adrenals, it's like the meeting of the water and the depth of water and the flow of water, like two cisterns meeting this hormonal energy that says, let's go, let's do things, let's act, let's party. And so they create the symbiosis in a way where the water energy gets some fire and the fire gets to constantly relate to the whole body, but also just to this cistern. So just take your other, your other side, the right side. We're almost at the end point here. Bring up, bring up the kidney, dock it into your adrenals. And let the kidneys fall away from the adrenals a little bit. And now rev up, rev up your willingness to go, kind of rev up the, the adrenals. We know them so well, they're almost like constantly working. So give your, give your kidneys a little bit of a, woo, let's go. So you can start 
going. You, uh, many of you might feel like you need to rest first. I'm going to leave you here. I'm actually gonna run a little music for a minute. Uh, and with what I think is a little adrenal energy. And that was it folks, 20 minutes. So let's um, do this music. A kidney mixed with some Goodbye, people on Facebook. Have a great day. If you're watching this later, I hope you enjoyed the 20 minutes.